In today's brief video, I wanna share with you guys 10 benefits that I experienced after I quit vaping. And the content in today's video can really apply to any high concentration containing nicotine products. So these could be benefits of quitting cigarettes, quitting chewing tobaccos, in pouches, vapes, it doesn't really matter. Now, if you wind up enjoying the content in today's video, be sure to check out the pinned comment or the video description at the end to pick up a free seven step guide on how to quit nicotine products, how to quit vaping, or to learn more about our products and supplements designed to help people quit. So benefit number one when it came to quitting vaping that I experienced was improved skin health and improved complexion. And I noticed this in two regards. One, my skin started to look a lot smoother and I actually started to regain a lot of color in my face, in my complexion. And let me explain what I mean by that. So when I was constantly vaping, especially when I was vaping in conjunction with drinking energy drinks and smoking a lot of weed, I constantly looked pale. No matter how much sun I would get, no matter how many times I would hit a tanning bed, I would continuously look like this kind of steel gray color. And a lot of that has to do with the decreased blood flow that results from the vasoconstriction of high concentration nicotine consumption. So nicotine itself and the chemicals and vapes are very, very inflammatory. And one of the things where we often start to see this inflammation occur first is in a person's skin, the texture of their skin, it might present as acne. And a lot of this for me, particularly the coloring of my complexion, cleared up significantly and looked much, much better after I quit. Now a quick disclaimer before I talk about the other nine benefits. This was after I got through the initial withdrawal period. When I first quit, my face actually broke out a bit and I actually developed a little bit of back acne for like the first two to four weeks. Then after I got through those initial nicotine detox and withdrawal, everything started to look significantly better. And that's the case with almost each of these things. Things got worse before they got better. So please keep that in mind because that's a really common reason of relapse. Benefit number two that I experienced was less snacking and less hunger overall. A lot of people quit vaping or quit smoking and they're really concerned that they're going to gain weight. And although some people might, this often isn't the case. Uh, when you consume nicotine, nicotine spikes your uh, norepinephrine and adrenaline levels and all that stuff. And that increases your blood sugar levels. Every time your blood sugars rise, your body releases more insulin. And insulin is a hunger hormone. It's a fat storage hormone. So I actually found after I got through those initial withdrawals and initial cravings that I had much less of an urge to snack and eat junk food when I finally quit vaping, quit you know chewing tobacco, all that stuff, which also resulted in some weight loss in my case, which was a good thing when I first quit. Okay, I noticed benefit number three, improved sleep quality. I didn't particularly have a problem falling asleep, but I would have issues during the night waking up. And what happens is when you're very addicted to nicotine, your body will actually wake you up out of a sound sleep to go consume nicotine. This is literally being woken up out of a sound night's sleep because you have a craving. So not only was I experiencing that, I was also smoking weed at the time, so not only was that not allowing me to enter a state of deep sleep, but keep in mind, nicotine is a stimulant, especially when it initially first hits your system. So that stimulant effect, it increases heart rate, it increases alertness, it increases adrenaline, it increases cortisol, that stress hormone in your body. And this is all has a very negative impact on sleep and the quality of sleep that you get. You might be falling asleep, but are you getting restful sleep? Are you getting deep sleep? Are you dreaming throughout the night? And improved sleep and less snacking also, I believe, really helped with the complexion of my skin. So all of these benefits you're gonna notice kind of feed into one another. Benefit number four of quitting vaping, I noticed I had a lot more energy. And this makes a lot of sense. Again, after I got through the initial withdrawals, I was very tired, very lethargic, very demotivated when I first quit. But after some time, my energy significantly improved. And again, I think this was because I started to eat healthier. 
I had a uh, better quality sleep. My skin was looking better, which made me more confident, which confidence in and of itself can be energizing. And I was no longer going through a day-to-day -day cycle of nicotine consumption, nicotine detox and withdrawal. Nicotine consumption, nicotine detox and withdrawal. A lot of people don't realize this, but when you're addicted to nicotine, your body's constantly going through a state of detox and withdrawal in between sessions of use. So let's say you vape in the morning, then you go to school or work for an hour or two and you can't vape until you get a bathroom break. Well, your body starts to go into a state of withdrawal and detox. That's why you get cravings. That's why you get headaches. That's why you become irritable. Doing that all day long over and over and over again. And then to further compound it when you're trying to sleep at night, your body's trying to detox all this stuff out it really screws with your energy levels, right? A lot of people when they vape, unless you're vaping steadily throughout the whole evening, a lot of people wake up feeling very lethargic and groggy. I know I felt that way, full of brain fog. And that's because you're waking up in an active state of nicotine detox and withdrawal. That's also why that morning hit feels so relieving because you're temporarily halting the symptoms of nicotine detox and withdrawal. Benefit number five, more money in my bank account. And this might sound obvious, but what wasn't so obvious to me was what I could start doing with that money. I now started to have money to invest into things that I actually cared about. And I quickly realized vaping wasn't just a loss of money that I was spending on the product, but it was the lack of investment of that money. That money could be put towards index funds to earn interest. That money could be put towards buying a, a new camera and starting your own YouTube business or starting your own YouTube channel and collecting ad revenue. The money that I have saved from quitting substances has been one of the best investments that I've ever made and it's paid off in, in significant amounts. So having more money, who doesn't want that? Oh, benefit number six. My discipline improved. I noticed after I quit vaping, especially initially when it does require a little bit of willpower and, and, and quite a bit of discipline to stop, that discipline and my ability to say no, my ability to delay gratification started to spill over into other areas of my life. It spilled over into my business and my businesses improved. It spilled over into my relationships. It spilled over into my dedication towards sticking to a nutrition protocol, towards sticking to going to the gym, which kind of got a little messy after my child was born over the course of the last year. But all in all, it was decently maintained and now we're back on track. So my discipline, I, I chose to do something, quitting vaping, something that required a lot of discipline, especially initially, and I strengthened that muscle, that discipline muscle. And you can see all this goes hand in hand, right? It actually, because I now had more discipline and I was able to exercise discipline, I was able to apply that to diet. I was able to apply that to fitness. Again, this helped improve my confidence along with having more energy and better sleep. This all goes hand in hand. Having more discipline is underrated and people often think, well, how do I become more disciplined? Pick a task that requires discipline and start seeing that task through. It could be running a marathon. It could be working out every day. It could be dieting. It could be quitting drugs. Quitting drugs is the definition of a psychological task that requires discipline. If you want to become more disciplined, quit substances, assuming you struggle with them. Benefit number seven, I noticed less anxiety. I had less anxiety about the money I was spending. I had less anxiety about future health complications. And I overall became a less anxious person because I was no longer spiraling my body into this constant state of fight or flight response with my nicotine consumption all day long. Anytime you consume nicotine, you're spiking cortisol, you're spiking adrenaline, you're spiking things that cause anxiety. Now, for the longest time, I thought that nicotine and vaping was helping with my anxiety, but it wasn't. The only anxiety I was relieving was the anxiety that was created by the cravings that I had for nicotine. As Alan Carr famously said in his book, it's like putting on a super tight shoe only to take off the shoe and say, ah, what a relief. 
It's like banging your head against a wall only to stop banging your head and say, ah, I feel so much better. But then we start banging our heads again. That's, that's kind of what addiction to nicotine is. So less anxiety about my health, about the money I was spending, and then just in general, less anxiety because of the physiological positive changes that occurred in my body by no longer spiking cortisol, glucose, adrenaline all day long. I noticed less depression, and I think that was a direct result of all these other things starting to improve. My physical health improved, I had less anxiety, I was eating healthier, healthier, I was sleeping better, I was no longer killing all my downtime, just hitting my vape, taking a crap, scrolling social media, scrolling Instagram posts, scrolling TikTok. I was no longer wasting away while I was vaping, and I think all in all, that simply resulted in being less depressed. So I hope that somewhat makes sense. And the statistics out there go to show that people who don't smoke, people who don't vape, there's less instances of depression and anxiety. Benefit number nine, better physical shape. No surprise there. When you're sleeping better, when you're eating better, when you have more energy to expend throughout the day, you're a lot more compelled to go do things that make you feel good and use up that energy. So for me, a big part of that has been physical exercise, lifting weights, hitting the gym, anything along those lines. And when you're in better shape, you become more confident. You know, that's one of the worst things about vaping and addiction. It really damages a person's confidence. You say you're going to do something, i.e. quit. You fail to quit time and time again. Eventually, that subconsciously creates a rot when it comes to your confidence and your commitment and your promises that you make to yourself. Number 10. Improved focus and less brain fog. It's awesome being able to wake up and just get on with my day without having to worry about using nicotine to kickstart my day. When you use nicotine in really high concentrations, nicotine becomes the focus. It doesn't help you focus. I have such a beef with people who are like, nicotine's great for neurocognitive function. Yes, it can be. And a super low dosage, 0.5 to 1 milligram per hour, seems to be the generally accepted rule. Most people who vape, smoke cigarettes, chew tobacco, use in, are consuming way more than that. In fact, they're consuming so much, it's relatively toxic to their system. I think a lot of people, myself was, who was once included in this, are walking around in a constant state of nicotine toxicity. We overload our nicotine receptors when we're addicted. So what would happen in addiction is I'd be like, oh, I can't write my emails unless I'm vaping, until I'm vaping. I can't do this work task until I get my vape. I don't even feel comfortable going into this meeting unless I have a vape with me, unless I have a tin of tobacco with me. It actually started to ruin my focus because it became my focus. And then I would consume so much at points I would just become like physically sick and then it would totally derail my day. By mid-afternoon, I'd be crashing and burning. Energy would be low. I'd be fatigued, really, really full of brain fog and just wouldn't feel well. And again, when you're thinking more clearly, when you have less brain fog, you have more energy, you sleep better. It's, it's more motivating to take care of yourself. The better you feel, the more care of yourself you want to take. The worse we feel, the less care of ourselves we want to take. That's just how this stuff works. Now, those are the ben- 10 benefits that I received, but I really want to emphasize I didn't experience them until I got through those initial withdrawals, which typically for most people peak around days five to seven. Typically by week two, you're feeling better. You might get a second wave of withdrawals around the two week mark. And then within 30 to 90 days, most people are feeling pretty good. Okay? Now, We do offer a one-on-one coaching session to help you put a plan together when it comes to quitting. If you've tried to quit a million times and it hasn't worked, check that out. You can text COACH to the number below. We also have our supplement, Kick It, Crave Less Chewing Gum. This contains KSM 66 ashwagandha and NAC, N-acetylcysteine. KSM 66 ashwagandha is great at helping a person tolerate more stress and reducing anxiety. KSM 66 is also really good for recovery. People who are into physical fitness and exercise, this is a great supplement, especially for men when it comes to testosterone production. There's also shown benefits for women when it comes to balancing hormones, hormone regulation. 
N-acetylcysteine is an antioxidant that's been shown to be very powerful when it comes to not only lung health and reducing inflammation in our lungs, but it's also been shown to help reduce cravings. Cravings to nicotine, cocaine, cannabis, caffeine, NAC is very, very promising in the world of addiction with regard to early literature on it. Now we put it into a gum, this is actually chewing gum, because unlike capsules, the ingredients in a gum are gonna avoid that first pass effect, so they're not gonna get broken down in your gut and in your liver. The ingredients in the gum, similar to like a Zin pouch when you suck on it, go directly into the bloodstream. So this is fast acting, it helps with oral fixation, and I designed this to be as least addicting as possible. In theory, you could get addicted to anything. I was addicted to Trident gum at one point in my life, okay? But I didn't use aspartame, I didn't use Ace K, we used a little bit of sucralose for flavoring because we had to. But yeah, great product, check that out. If you buy the 90 count or the three pack, you get a free deep breathing tool. It's a necklace designed to help slow down your breaths and mimic a vape when you're trying to quit vaping or quitting cigarettes. Again, you get that necklace for free with the 90 count. If you buy it with the 30 count, you get free shipping on the necklace and the, and the supplement. So I hope that helps you guys out. If you don't wanna check out our products, if you don't wanna follow me into the next video, make sure you pick up that free seven step guide on how to quit vaping and how to quit smoking in the pinned comment below. Until next time.